Hey everyone, I'm Sugandha and you're watching Ready to Get Update and welcome back to my channel and yes, I'm answering your queries and this is really interesting because this is from background verification. I was about to answer this query in the background verification session only which was from HR course playlist, okay. But uh, yes, this uh, kind of queries are flashing everywhere on uh, my different social media platforms so I thought to answer this, right. Now, this is like, hello, ma'am, during salary negotiation with HR, I have provided my salary details telling more amount because our bonus percentage is way above than it is written in CTC payslip. OK, and I have mentioned that to HR and gave him a total approx amount. HR did not ask me for any salary slip proof, but in BTV form, I have given all correct details as per the payslip. Will it cause any problem? First of all, see, you have already mentioned that, yes, sir. Uh, you have uh, already told uh, everything to HR, right? And uh, why the difference is there? Because uh, the bonus percentage is different, okay? So, it will not create a problem. It will not create a but problem. But yes, I would definitely try to answer this uh, generalize also, okay? Because a uh, lot of people are doing these mistakes like uh, they are discussing either they are doing mistake or they are doing it deliberately. Okay, like uh, you told me that bonus percentage is different. That's why you have mentioned that amount. That's fine. But a uh, lot of people are doing it deliberately or a lot of people are doing it by mistake. Okay, so I want to give this answer generally as and well. if it applies to your case, you can take it that way. Okay, so first of all, see uh, providing inaccurate information during salary negotiation and background verification could, uh, you know, potentially lead to trust issues with your employer and may have consequences. But if it's uh, inaccurate information and you're doing it deliberately and you have not taken any step to rectify it, okay? So it's important to maintain transparency and yes, honesty in all aspects of the hiring process. Fine. So yes, if the background verification process uncovers any inconsistencies between the information provided during salary negotiation and the actual details in your pay slip, it could potentially lead to concerns from the employer's side. But if it's a different case, means you're doing it deliberately, you don't have any proof or you can't justify it, right? However, the severity of the situation may depend on the company's policies. Again, the nature of the discrepancy and the overall context, okay? As you have the valid reason to put forth that amount because of that bonus percentage, okay? So here are a few suggestions I would like to provide you and to the other people who are asking similar questions related to the background verification and the discrepancies actually. First is clarify during the background check. If there's any opportunity to clarify or rectify the information during the background verification process, consider doing so, okay? You might want to reach out to the HR department and explain the situation. You can explain the situation which you have already done. You have already told the HR, you have already mentioned about it to the HR. Next is be prepared to explain. Now see, if the discrepancy is noticed and you are asked about it, be prepared to explain the situation honestly. Fine? So misunderstandings can happen and it's better to address them openly as you have done. And if in case it will be asked, you can clarify. Okay, next is learn from the experience. Now, see, moving forward, it's uh, really crucial to maintain accuracy and transparency in all communication with your employee. So, this helps in building trust and a positive working relationship. A lot of people are asking me that we are going for fake experience or we are doing it deliberately or I have done this or uh, people say, oh, this is this country or this is, uh, you know, this is the culture to portray fake experience and all. I will never advise this. Please don't ask such questions about the fake experience or something because I will always say be open, be accurate, be honest. I will never advise you to, you know, go for fake experience or something like that, right? And uh, yes, you can uh, uh, again seek uh, professional advice if your case is really complicated and you have done something which is not right means I'm talking for, for the people who are, you know, involved in the fake experience or something and uh, something fishy and now they want to, you know, revert back. They want to accept their mistakes. So, yes, if you have concerns about the potential impact of the situation, you may want to consult with a, you should actually consult with a legal professional or, uh, yes, uh, any expert in that field who can provide guidance based on your specific circumstances and local regulations. If the case is there, 
now again i'm repeatedly saying that the uh, the suggestions i have provided is not specifically for your query i picked up your query because uh, this was the query related to the discrepancy in information okay so uh, the answer is for general people and if it relates with you you can definitely apply so keep in mind that practices and consequences can vary between companies and regions okay and it's always advisable to consult with professionals who can provide guidance tailored to your situation if your situation is uh, really different okay fine so this is the answer to this question and uh, i've got several queries related to background verification i'm willing to uh you know take these queries separately a uh, bunch of queries on background verification because uh, this is a major concern because after this background verification only you will get an offer letter and you will get an opportunity actually okay to work so be transparent okay this is all from my side and if it's still your query isn't answered please do let me know in the comment section so if it's helpful please do let me know in the comment section and yes for others as well if you need any other session queries then please do let me know So till next video all the very best to so stay happy stay safe thanks for watching bye bye